Welcome to the Banyan Edge Podcast. Here's your host, Charles Sizemore. Welcome. So now that we're in the home stretch of 2023, it's been an interesting year. This is the year that saw a reversal of some of the carnage of 2022. Stocks are higher this year. Bond yields are also higher. It's been a lot of emphasis on themes like artificial intelligence. All that's great. What about 2024? What about the next 10 years? So to help me unpack all of that, I have brought on the illustrious Mr. <laughs> John Wilkinson. Thank you, uh, John. Before we, before we talk business here, I do want to point out that you and I are in a very exclusive club. It's a club with very few members, and it's I can't even say it's by invitation only. It's really by birthright only. The June 3rd uh, birthday club, correct? The June 3rd birthday club. Now, to protect both of our dignities, I will not mention the year of birth. I will just say that we are in the same birthday club. So yeah, there yep. is that. But John, it's good to have you on. You, you've been the uh, you've been the director of premium publications for Banyan Hill for quite some time. You've had uh, a lot of experience with our with our writers, with our experts. Uh, this is you know clearly not your first rodeo. And I know that uh, prior to the pandemic, Banyan Hill had annual summits. And this was the highlight of the year for, for most of our team. This is where we got to get together, share our, our best ideas, our, our kind of looking forward ideas for, for the next year, for the next decade. It's been a while since we've had one, of course. There's this little thing called the COVID-19 pandemic that kind of got in the way of, of in-person meetings. But uh, we are bringing them back. Yep, absolutely. Uh, I'm super excited. Um, the last one, to be exact, was September of 2019. So our next one is going to be in February uh, of 2024. So we're talking about a four and a half year uh, time gap. So I know that the staff and the editors, the employees at Banyan Hill, we're, we're really, really looking forward to it because it's an amazing opportunity to get everybody together, to meet with our subscribers one-on-one. Uh, -on -one. It's a great opportunity for the subscribers to meet with the editors in person because most times, hey, you're just watching some videos or you're reading their editorial pieces. But here's an opportunity to uh, get uh, get together uh, face to face, uh, hear what they have to say, ask them some questions uh, in a group format and, and really get as much information uh, from these folks. And honestly, a lot of us love going because um, some of us are in Maryland and any excuse to get down to the <laughs> Florida in the middle of winter is a great excuse. So uh, uh, we'll take it. But and, it's and a nice be, venue nonetheless. It's, it's a great, great time to get away. And it's going to be at the Ritz Carlton in Orlando, which is an amazing, amazing facility. Um, and so I know that a lot of people are looking forward to get down there as well. Very good. Very good. One thing I'd point out is it's always great to see someone speak live because it's a different dynamic than uh, you know watching a video or, or or reading a transcript. But even more valuable to me is that that handshake appeal, just being able to meet in passing and and just ask kind of off the cuff questions in person. That's something that you really just can't get anywhere else. Like there's just no substitute for that. So I think that's. That's if I'm gonna if I'm gonna point out one particular thing that I think is particular valuable particularly valuable, it's that ability to just have an informal off the cuff chat. Oh, so I love that aspect. No, no doubt about it because it gives you it gives the you know our, our subscribers the opportunity to ask some questions in person that maybe they haven't addressed in in some sort of editorial or some copy somewhere um, to to kind of understand what the editor's thinking about specific areas and and to that point I was I was looking back uh, back at 2019 our last uh, conference that we had and really the big themes. Uh, that were on a lot of investors' minds were really four things, EVs, electronic vehicles, uh, artificial intelligence, cannabis stocks, right? Everybody remembers uh, pot stocks. Everybody was interested in pot stocks and then crypto. And I still think that some of those, uh, some of those areas are still of concern, but what's changed because of COVID is um, the semiconductors, uh, computer chips, right? Uh, you got, I think we sure. can all recall uh, that we couldn't get uh, uh, computer chips. So half the products we wanted to buy uh, weren't even available for purchase because of this issue. So I know that's something that Ian King's going to be talking about is this re or onshoring, uh, reshoring of the tech industry back to the United States. So 
things have changed because of COVID and what's important to investors have changed and opportunities have changed. So these are things we definitely want to address uh, when we get together in February in Orlando, for sure. Uh, but one, point, your- I, I would, one thing I'd point out, though, is it does show you how forward thinking our writers are, because some of these themes we were actually talking about as far back as 2019, and they're still relevant. So absolutely. AI uh, you is heard it still here first. In- Still relevant. AI is still relevant. Um, and, you know, I didn't know much about it. I, you know, I read it, what uh, people were saying, but now it's, it's mainstream, right? Back in 2019, AI wasn't mainstream, but now it is chat GPT, right? So now everybody knows about artificial intelligence. But to your point, Charles, yeah, I'm excited to hear what the editors have to say at this year's conference that that mainstream won't be picking up on until maybe 2025, 2026, something like that. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Another aspect I really like is our our experts tend to have their silos of expertise. They have areas that are kind of specific to them, but then they also have areas where they they, they kind of share uh, ideas. And I can't say share ideas, but they, they end up kind of reaching the same conclusions. And I think what interestingly, one of those areas is energy. I know that is really our whole team over the last year has had at least some play on energy. And what I like about our, our, our style here is that we're not beholden to any particular theme. We're able to change as the opportunities change. And we've explored opportunities in both traditional energy, just oil and gas, and also alternative energy. Normally, you don't mix those two. It's like, well, I'm a solar and wind guy or I'm an oil and gas guy. We don't have that. You know, we follow the money. If there's an opportunity in oil and gas, we chase it down. If there's an opportunity in 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 renewable energy, we also chase it down. I, I, that's why I, I particularly love that aspect of the team. We have a very kind of go anywhere, do anything approach. Absolutely. And speaking of energy, I know that is one of the themes for this year's conference is energy. Look, we had the hottest summer on record, uh, you know, according yeah. to the the uh, expert. So energy uh, is is an issue. And I, I'm to your point, I think it's great that we're going to get together in February, talk about energy and talk about some ways to to make money and, and profit uh, from trading in the energy sector. For, so for sure, it is a it is a major issue for the future. About energy, you will laugh at this. I'm not currently in Texas. I'm, I'm actually in Peru right now. But I did get an alert and actually an urgent request. It kind of almost looked like begging from my utility in in Dallas, asking me very nicely, will you please turn up your thermostat a few degrees because we're not so sure we can handle the load right now? No doubt. So I obliged. I had my, you know, my my smart home set up where I could take my phone and you know raise it. I already had my thermostat on like 80. I guess I raised it to 83 for them just to do my part, my civic duty, I suppose. But that that shows you how severe it is when Texas, the energy capital of the world, is struggling to keep homes cool. You you know, there may be some opportunities there. No doubt about it. Well, A, I appreciate you doing your civic duty by raising your thermostat (laughs) to 85 degrees, but absolutely. And again, I think that's the point. At the conference, let's sit and listen to the experts and let's find some ideas to hopefully profit from the uh, the energy needs uh, in the future, for sure. Absolutely. Yeah. So to give everybody sort of a tease of, of what else we'll be discussing apart from energy, apart from artificial intelligence and related to that chips, we'll also be discussing biotech uh, and healthcare in general. I know Charles Mizrahi is really interested in the potential there, and it, you don't really have to you know be a math whiz to figure this one out. You have the largest generation in history, the baby boomers that are now aging into their peak healthcare spending years. So uh, you got 70 million people using a lot more healthcare than they used to. Yeah, there's going to be some big opportunities there. Uh, Just suffice it to say, we're going to be talking about uh, financial uh, technology, fintech, and then we're also going to be talking about automation. And because there are a few months between now and then, I would assume we're going to have a few more topics that sort of sneak in there. But I'm excited about it. Oh, I am too. And, you know, we just recently uh, opened up the the doors, if you will, to register and uh, we've been inundated with calls. So we definitely have people who want to get back together. It's been four and a half years. They want to get back together as a group. Again, you're not only going to interact with the editors, you're going to interact with other subscribers. 
just like yourselves. So I think that is a huge plus to the um, symposium is getting to meet other like-minded uh, subscribers who are reading the information and profiting from it. And you can certainly learn things from them, but they're excited to be able to get back together. I think they're excited to go down uh, to the to the actual uh, hotel. It's a beautiful hotel. And again, a lot of our Northeastern folks like myself, we want to get out of the cold. So I think there's three huge reasons why uh, you know the phones are ringing, people are signing up, and they are signing up online, and and it's I think it's going to be a great event, an amazing. It, event. It, any of the three alone would be justification. You put all three together, you really got a deal. No doubt. So yeah, we'll, we'll put a link below. Um, attendance is limited. Uh, it, it is what it is. The facility is only so big, so we can't let everybody in. So if you are interested in attending, and I very strongly recommend it here. Uh, you might want to act sooner rather than later. So again, we'll we'll put the link in there so that um, so that our viewers can 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 register. But attendance is limited, so you may want to act. Absolutely, and I look forward to seeing everybody at the conference for sure. Very good. All right. Well, John, I think that's I think we I think we covered it. So I'll I'm excited that we're we're finally doing this after so many years. Me too. And I think it's going to be a fantastic performance here. Absolutely. Thank you, Charles. All right. Thank you. All right. And thank you to our viewers. Hopefully, uh, again, attendance is limited. So if, if you would like to join at, at, the, at the symposium, please do click. Please do register now. And until then, go out, make yourself some money.